check out this video from Buffalo, New York. It reminds us that the Fourth Amendment is also implicated when code enforcement and or law enforcement come onto your property or your business especially to try to enforce some of these unconstitutional COVID restrictions. Check out what this Buffalo, New York gym did when they chased out law enforcement and code enforcement after after refusing to put up with their crap in their business and they basically chase them back out onto the street shouting we will not comply and it's a good reminder that the fourth amendment still does protect you even if you're a business and it also does protect you against code enforcement though the law can be a little bit different i'll explain but check this out here so do your jobs well, her job is... Well, oh, no, no, your you job is to remove people that are not wanted here. You have a She's We're wanted here. Department. They're not. Do you She's have a hiding her name tag. She had her I'm name tag. I'm not. It's right here. It's right here. You can see my They're name They're just doing their job. There we go. You should all be wearing masks. How come I'm not doing you have anything masks wrong. On? Don't worry about my health. My health isn't you're, your concern. You're meant to be wearing a mask. It's a government. Okay, well, then write me up. It's the law. Okay, then 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 take me to jail. It's not the law. Then take me to jail. Show me the law. Show me the law. Show me the law. Well, I think we got to go to jail. You have to leave. You guys have to leave. You guys need to leave. You have to leave. Right now, you're trespassing without a warrant. That's exactly right. Where's your warrant? Show me your warrant. Fourth Amendment protections also apply to a business. So when these code enforcement types usually come to inspect, most of the time that's voluntary. They don't have to have a warrant because they, they have your consent to be on the property to search in exchange for whatever BS um, business permit they're going to give you in exchange for your payment usually. Now, when they come into your property or your business premises to search for evidence of, of what they think is a crime, this unconstitutional mandate by a governor, then ask them for a warrant. And these people wisely did that. It looks like there's probably a lawyer involved here. And they back down in the face of that because they don't have a warrant. And you can see the look in their eyes that they don't even know what the law is. And the fact is, is that the U.S. Supreme Court has held that the Fourth Amendment protections do apply to a business. The case is C versus City of Seattle. It is a 1967 case, so it's been the case for a long time. But basically, an owner-operator of a business has an expectation of privacy in commercial property, which society is prepared to consider to be reasonable. Now, this expectation exists not only with respect to traditional police searches conducted for gathering criminal evidence, but also with respect to administrative inspections designed to enforce regulatory statutes. Go get a warrant. You guys are breaking the law right now. You're breaking the law. Go outside. No, go on your phone Maybe outside. Go on your phone outside. I would really like it if you Where did you hear the report? Okay, we can look at the law. Yeah. Break the law. Dude. We would tell you like who reported it. Who reported it? Who reported it? Who reported it? You know what? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's anonymous, anonymous, right? Yes, it's anonymous. It, it can't be anonymous. Complaint. You need it to know your be, accuser. Uh, you need to know not, it cannot okay, be anonymous. You gotta go get a warrant. It cannot be anonymous. You gotta go get a warrant. You don't get to get policies. You don't get to violate the Constitution. It does not matter. You don't circumvent or subvert the Constitution. That's the way it works. Call the news. Okay, Mess, you need to leave. I want get to out! Get 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 out! Good for these people for doing that. They're standing on their rights, and if you don't test your rights out, maybe they don't even exist. And here they were successful. I don't know what happened afterwards. Also keep in mind that depending in which federal circuit you're in or which state you're in, you know, some businesses are more highly regulated than others. 
Now, the Fourth Circuit has held that coal mines in Virginia can be subjected to warrantless searches under circum some circumstances because there is a constitutionally adequate substitute for a warrant. And that's complicated what that could mean. But there really could be a gray area with restaurants. And we're testing this out in the Putnam County restaurant case that we have going to federal court here on Monday morning. So I, I've been studying this area of the law lately, but I, I, it's great to see a business standing up to tyranny, and I hope to see it elsewhere. I need you to quit believing in any way that somebody's going to come and take your guns or it's an unconstitutional or whatever it may be. Who cares about all that right at this moment? Right at this moment, all we need to do is try to some way break the chain of this killer that's eaten as alive. That's all we need to concentrate on.